Hi, I'm Captain Matt. <laughs> I didn't expect you to say that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bianca. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and we're from Club Sapphire, and this is uh, this is it's Pirate Night. It is our our. I don't know. Does this does this work for me? No, you gotta wear it all night. Uh, I think I'll take this oh, off. Oh, you're gonna make everybody out there sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 generically I'm like sort of piratey. How about that? I got the well, he, ridiculously like, yeah, cut, took, cut like, shirt. Yeah, took several buttons down, <laughs> undid the buttons, and said. That's piratey. Sure. But you know what? It works. Like something we talk about often, you know, in these uh, vlogs are costumes, what to wear, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That you don't have to necessarily go out and buy something new just for the theme. That you can wear something you've already got and give it like a little twist that's just kind of a nod to the theme. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, just unbuttoning this really low and I look like some sort of, uh, some sort of, some sort Swash of Swashbuckling character. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and I just chose to wear a black corset that I already had and a little skirt thingy, and I'm now a wench. Yeah, you're now <laughs> a wench. That's right. So you know, <laughs> you're, it works. You're my wench. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> so, <laughs> so today we wanted to talk about uh, uh, I say evolution, like the evolution yeah. of. A couple swinging adventures. Right. Okay. Because you had a question, or someone had a question, on mm -hmm. the Facebook group. Yep. Was, okay, yep. what, what was that question? Um, the question was, what have you learned about yourself that you thought you would be totally against and mm -hmm. has now shaped your relationship? Oh, has now shaped a relationship? Okay, because when, when you had first mentioned that beforehand, you're like, okay, the evolution of, of you know, how, how couples change as they're doing this thing right. uh, over over the years uh, over their over their adventures so when we first uh, started out mm -hmm. uh, you know honestly we when we you know way back in the beginning it was it was the same as actually a lot of couples where they are looking for a bisexual woman mm -hmm. uh, to join them in a threesome and uh, and that was really what our original plan was well because the idea I didn't even know swinging was a thing I didn't know I had no idea any mm -hmm. of this. Like it didn't even, it never occurred to me. So we were just looking for a threesome uh, mm -hmm. with another woman. Mm -hmm. And how do you know? How do you make that happen? We had no clue. I'm like, do we go to Vegas and hire a prostitute? <laughs> like, do we go on Craigslist? <laughs> like, what do we do? <laughs> huh. So yeah. So well, we started out that way, mm -hmm. and 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 it, but it was a very short period of time. Honestly, we. It actually took us years of being in lifestyle before we actually got that threesome. Yes. Uh, we 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 skipped right over that because honestly, they call them unicorns because they're generally fairly difficult to find. However, since then we found lots of unicorns, but early on that was a very difficult thing for us. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we skipped over that into just you know a same room foursomes. Uh, our first adventure was soft swapping. Uh, yeah, right. And. That's what uh, I say. And and it was a situation where we were on vacation and we talked about having a threesome, but we met this couple and we connected really well. And you had never been with another woman at that point, and so you wanted to play with another woman and see what that yeah, was. You mostly wanted me to play with another woman. Oh, oh yeah, you had no interest <laughs> in it whatsoever. Uh, it was me just kind of pushing it on you. Just just put your head down there and. There was a little of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had, the, I had the fantasy thing going on. It's like, I really want to watch this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. It was all me. Um, and uh, uh, so you you did that. You took to it like a champ, mm -hmm. like you've been doing it your whole life. And it was really that same night that the, the other guy and you had did the oral things. Right. And myself and the other woman did that. And that was all we did. But that was... Uh, a stepping stone uh, for immediately after we're like that was cool we could have we would have gone further with that couple uh, if we would have if it would have gone there or right. the next day or something like that that being said you know I tried to find them on the internet a couple years ago and they didn't respond to any of our messages so I don't know maybe we creeped them out or something maybe, uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe they're not doing this anymore I have no idea um, that was a long time ago Side note, uh, yeah. So you know that's what we did, and then we immediately jumped into swinging in, in total and uh, got into full swap, same room. Same because room. and actually, it's funny if you 
we've done oh, we've done like eighty or some odd of these videos in total. Um, but we so far. Uh, but if you go back and watch way our earliest ones, long before we were deal, deal, doing these for Club Sapphire, uh, we actually did a video where we were in Mexico and we were talking about our rules. And it was like the third or fourth video that we had ever done. And this we had been in the lifestyle maybe, maybe a year at that point, not even a year at that point. And so we had the rules of, it was uh, condom, condoms and same room only and no taking one for the team. Okay, so those were the rules that we had at the beginning. And uh, that worked for us for a while. Long time. Um, and it was, it was perfectly fine. Uh, and then we started to, after we'd been doing it for a few years, we started to kind of experiment with other things. Mm -hmm. Where it was like, finally we had that threesome with another woman. Uh, finally we, uh, you had sort of a threesome with another guy. And, uh, uh, and we've, you know, we had tried different things. We had tried orgies. We had, we had uh, found a group of friends that we would all kind of swap in a big situation. Not necessarily a puppy pile of people, but everyone's One just... One big room, just everybody's kind of all over the place. That's right. You, I, would, I would play with her, and then I would play with her, and then you would be around, and there'd be penises right. all over your head, and there was... Or, oh, well, not really, but okay. <laughs> just everywhere. Uh -huh. Just in, in, all, in all the orifices right. that you would allow penises to go into. That's right. <laughs> So, um, yeah, and uh, and so that was you know that was the next step for us, and then we started to branch out into the polyamorous world and uh, uh, get relationships that way, and take the next step for us on our journey, uh, the boyfriends and the girlfriends and and that, and then uh, and then from from there it, uh, it we started because because of that we started to really start to focus on separate room. Mm -hmm. And and that's kind of where that's where we are now. And we were actually just talking about this last week. Is it's we really almost primarily do that now. Yeah. Um, I mean, I when was the last time that we played with another couple in the same room? We have. It wasn't that long ago, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hmm, I'd have to think about that. I remember. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, good. Okay, I'll, I'll at least you remember. I'm sure it was, I'm sure it was amazing. Uh, hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> she was... If I was able to tell you who it was, you'd be like, oh, yeah, duh. Like, it wasn't that long ago. I mean, maybe a year. Oh, my, oh it's if, right. Okay. If that. If, I don't even... If, yeah, probably a year. <laughs> exactly. So it's been a year, which is still some time, considering how often we do do things and we do come to the club often. Yeah, and we do a lot of a lot of things, but it just it has boiled down to because you and I, we almost work at different speeds. I would say I don't know if that's really the the right wording, but it's like um, I will connect with a woman and I'll talk to her and that type of thing, and if it is a situation where she is similar to me in the sense that she can play separately then i will do that and she'll do that and we ha we have found from just doing this for a long time that we like separate room because you can focus on the person that you're with uh instead of pl you're playing with someone and you're checking in on your spouse and you're checking in on there's pe other people are doing this thing and 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 such um and that has worked really well for us uh yes. from the sake of the sex is better. Mm -hmm. Just the sex is better. But that's us. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people don't go there, and a lot of people will honestly say, I'm never going to go there. And if you yeah, would have asked fine. us mm -hmm. uh -huh. when we first filmed those fil uh, those those uh, those videos back in 2013, I think yeah. it was, uh, that w if someone would have said, Are you, would you guys ever do separate room? We would have been like, no, no, no way. It's it's dangerous. Someone's going to put their finger in my butt or whatever, and she's not going to be able to protect me. I don't, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and now you love it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and so, but it just kind of boils down to what, you want to do and as long as you're communing, communicating about it and as long as you're both okay with whatever the next step is uh, then that's perfectly fine mm -hmm. um, and you just have to talk the whole thing through yeah. and you know not baby steps baby steps are fine but mm -hmm. then you know both of you if you take a step forward and then you both decide like or one of you decides okay I'm not I'm really not okay with this being okay with stepping back 
Mm -hmm. you know, wherever you start with, you know, or wherever you go to, it's, it's okay to take a step back. It's okay to stop and readjust and focus on you, go you guys or go back to your previous rules, see how that goes for a little while. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, you, we always say go at the slowest person's pace. Yeah. So yeah, but you, you bring up an in interesting point too, that even with the evolution of going forward and becoming more daring or whatever it might be, there are a lot of times where honestly you would want to go backward as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is also perfectly fine. I, I can't think of how many people I know, probably almost everyone I know in the lifestyle that's been in the lifestyle for a long ter period of time has at some point said we need to step back for a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to reconnect as spouses. We need to, I've just been like my, my, uh, your, your vagina is tired because it's just had so many penises in it. You know, yeah. you're just you're, you're just like I just no more for a for well, a this week. This is also an interesting hobby in that you know this is we look at this as a hobby, mm -hmm. and it's it's something that if you're doing it a lot, mm -hmm. like every weekend you're at the club and you're talking to people online and that kind of stuff, um, there might come a point where you and your spouse are like, we need to stop for a minute and mm. we need to come back to each other mm. and focus refocus on each other and why we're together and why we're doing this and you know what really makes us happy and all that kind of stuff and you know possibly taking a vacation on your own or you know a weekend away or tonight we're only gonna have you know we're gonna go to dinner it's just gonna be the two of us you know and we're gonna really focus on each other and mm -hmm. have a special date or something and there's you know it's still so important to make sure you know check in with each other and make sure that everybody is feeling take their feelings are taken care of and that you're both feeling fine i mean and but we know many people where they're just like they're at it all the time like and that's their thing and that's they're perfectly fine with that so everybody's journey is is different and you brought up an interesting point about how how a um uh going at the speed of the slower or the more conservative of the two uh that can that's a very important thing because Sometimes there's one person in the couple who is much faster, much wants to move a lot quicker into whatever the next step is. Mm -hmm. uh, and that sometimes can cause problems in the relationship because the more conservative person or the one that's slower, you know, has some, um, some issues they need to work through or whatever it might be needs to work through those before you get to that point. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's just one of those things where you just have to you just have to go with that speed. Mm -hmm. And if you never get to that next point, that's, that's okay. It, it see, uh, yeah, it's okay, but that other that person who wants to move there, I mean, obviously they're going to have an issue with that as well. well. Yeah, but you're still a part of this lifestyle. I mean, can you really complain? <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, your wife is letting you fuck other people. Mhm. Mm do you have to do it in another room by yourself? Can't you just do it next to her if that's what she's comfortable with? Sure. Like mm. there, she's still having some po part of this. Mm -hmm. Like you know, she may never want to go that full way, right? Or he, or whatever. The the yeah. other person, conservative person, may never want to step forward. They may never be able to get comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. And you you have to be okay with that, don't you? Sure. Yeah. Because w what's the alternative? It's exactly. Exactly. And 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 so you know, but those are those are the inner struggles of each individual person, both right. the more conservative and the the one who is faster, whatever whatever terminology that you want to use. Mm -hmm. That that you both have to be in agreement as much as you possibly can. It right. is you know it is it is a hobby that you start out doing together a lot mm -hmm. of people expand into, into not necessarily and uh, there, I mean there are even couples that just don't even do anything together right uh, I mean we you know we, you and I might be on the prowl together but generally it does end up being that you know if a guy and you know you you've said this many times I mean you really will especially either at the club or at a house party whatever it might be that you'll play with a guy only if he's really forward with you mm -hmm. and is flat out like Bianca, I am attracted to you because you just don't take the hint. Right. Um, where I'm just like looking for someone to take my hint. Yeah. Because you know, my hints are blatantly obvious. And you know, everybody is so different in this whole, like everything. Like you've run into a lot of women who have been very aggressive. Mm -hmm. Women like Matt, Rar. Mm -hmm. um, and we've also talked to men <laughs> who are very 
uh, shy and very yeah. nervous. Like, uh, you know, maybe their partner has a lot of luck because she is very aggressive and she's like, rawr, all over you. And then the the man is definitely more shy, so he's not having as much luck. Sure. Um, and so it's, it's all about finding what works for you and and yes confidence is great and um you know the more like confident you can be and everybody's here for the same reason and we say this all the time you know you just got to ask the question you know pay attention to body language and feedback and all that kind of stuff uh and even if you're not as a as a, the aggressive person mm-hmm. you can still be successful. Well, you bring you bring up an interesting point. Maybe this is a well, no. This is a topic for a future video, mm-hmm. uh, um, because so you had mentioned you know sometimes women are very forward with me, and I just eat that up. Right. I, I uh, there was a there was a woman fairly recently who you know who came here and caught like just was like Matt, I want you. I have a crush on you, and I'm like like drooling because mm-hmm. that that's a type of thing that you know really works for me. Yeah. Because. And we've talked about this at home many, many times. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, I, I don't know if you're familiar with like the five love languages. It's mm-hmm. a very common thing. Uh, but uh, words of affirmation is mine in touch. But words of affirmation is my number one, which basically says you compliment Matt, and Matt is just going to be like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And yeah, maybe it's my ego. Well, it's probably a little of that too. Um, <laughs> But uh, but that's something you know maybe to talk about in a future video yeah, of the sense of of actually knowing about you know trying to figure out what that is from the other person's perspective yeah. and and making that person more comfortable to get to the point of playing with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll talk about it. We'll yeah. talk about it. I don't know. Stay tuned. And with that, go to www.clubsapphire.net and check out all the amazing upcoming parties that are going to happen yeah. and all the fun outfits that you're going to dress up in because we all want to see that. <laughs> Maybe we just do. We just do. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, <laughs> I'm wishing I had like pasties that were like pirates or something. Like that would have been really cool. Because mm-hmm. I do want to touch your booty. I just need to start a list of stuff that I need to just have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do. You do. And I and I want to watch you try them on. Yeah. Uh, perfect. All right. Anything else you want to say? No, I'm good. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.